the time is fulfilled. God spoke to me. The time is fulfilled. World War Three is coming. America will fall. Amer America is Babylon the Great. Just today, God spoke to me. The time is up. Time is up. The enemies are coming upon America. I was given scripture. I was given scripture. I was given scripture on February 11th and February 10th. Ezekiel 28 chapter verses 1 to 10 and Jeremiah yes Jeremiah chapter chapter 51 verses 27 to 33 also God gave me scripture about worshiping Baal pagan God the pagan God and it is written in Daniel's Daniel's book it's 14th chapter verses 1 to 41 it's written Babylonians Babylonian people worship Baal it's pagan gods that's why God will punish them because America is Babylon the Great and will fall in World War three America is a satanic nation. They worship nation. It is legal to worship Satan there. Okay, I'm going to read, you, read for you the scripture I was given. Ezekiel 28, chapter verses 1 to 10. Time is up. Time is up. Repent before it's too late. The word of the Lord came again unto me, saying, Son of man, say unto the prince of Tyrus, Thus said the Lord God, Because thine heart is lifted up, and thou hast said, I am a God. I sit in the seat of God, in the midst of the seas. Yet thou art a man, and not God, though thou set thine heart as the heart of God. Behold, thou art wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that they can hide from thee. With thy wisdom and with thine understanding, thou hast gotten the riches and hast gotten gold and silver into thy treasures. By thy great wisdom and by thy traffic has thou increased thy riches, and thine heart is lifted up because of thy riches. It's about Babylonian, Babylonian king, but this scripture reference also to America, strictly to America as a nation, whole nation. Therefore, thus said the Lord God, because thou hast set thine heart as the heart of God, behold, therefore I will bring strangers upon thee, the enemies the terrible of the nations, and they shall draw their swords against the beauty of thy wisdom, and they shall defile thy brightness. They shall bring thee down to the pit, and thou shalt die the deaths of them that are slain in the midst of the seas. With thee yet say before him that slayed thee, I am God, but thou shalt be a man, and no God, in the hand of him that slayed thee, thou shalt die the deeds of the uncircumcised by the hand of strangers. For I have spoken it, said the Lord God. Okay, America will fall, God will bring his judgment his justice to Babylon against Babylon through 
nations through nations as North Korea, Russia, China, Russia and China are allies. I don't know about other countries, but it might be also Iran, other countries which are in conflict. They are in conflict, in constant conflict with America. Beware, beware, the enemy is coming, America. The enemy is coming upon you because you are a satanic nation. Okay, now I'm going to read Jeremiah 51, 51 chapter, verses 27, 33, because it's, it's also about enemies that will slaughter, that will slaughter your children, young men and women. Okay. Raise a standard in the land, blow the trumpet among the nations, prepare the nations for war against her against Babylon. Summon against her the kingdoms Ararat, Mini and Ashkenaz. Appoint a marshal against her. Bring up horses like bristling locusts. Prepare the nations for war against her. The kings of the Mets with their governors and deputies and every land under their domination. The land trembles and writes for the Lord's purposes against the Babylon's tent to make the land of Babylon a desolation without inhabitant. The warriors of Babylon have given up fighting. They remain in their strongholds. Their strength has failed. They have become woman. Her buildings are set on fire. Her bars are broken. One runner runs to meet another and one mess messenger to meet another to tell the king of Babylon that his city is taken from end to end. The forts have been sized, the marshes have been burned with fire, and the soldiers are in panic. For thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, daughter of Babylon is like a threshing floor at the time when it is trodden, yet a little while, and the time of her harvest will come. Brothers and sisters, it is very true. America is Babylon the Great. Yesterday, I heard, I heard sentence from God: destruction of Babylon is coming. I hear, I hear these messages every day. I have visions, I have vivid dreams, and they are, you know, those warnings are not easy. They are not easy to to tell, to share. Because I need to warn, I have to warn, and I'm also a human. That's why it's very difficult. I'm, I'm a very sensitive, emotional person, but I need to obey God. So please, please prepare in every way you can. First, repent. Repent. Repent from your sins. Ask Jesus to forgive you. Accept. Accept him as a savior. Jesus is the only way to salvation to enter heaven and heaven and hell is real. Trust me, it is real. It is very real. You need to choose. You need to choose on which side you are. Are you on God's side or devil's side? Because there is no other option. There is no third option. There is only God's side and devil's side, Satan's side. There is no other option. So we need to choose. We are not perfect. We have to repent daily. But, but this is just 
this is just a warning, this is just an information for you to prepare. God told me today, today, he told me today, it's February 13th, he told me, time is up, time is up. And I heard when I was resting on my bed, but I wasn't sleeping, I heard Antichrist. I heard today Antichrist. Antichrist is going to rule very, very soon. I recorded a video, demonic rising is at hand. I was warned, I had two dreams, demonic rising is coming. But we need to pray, we need to pray. To be protected, to be covered with armor of God. Remember, please remember, pray. Prayers work, really prayers work. For, for the last few days, I, I I didn't have time, like, I didn't have too much time to pray, to pray more. And I've been, I've been under such a heavy demonic attack, yes, because I didn't, I didn't have more time, more then I should have more time to, to pray. That's why you need to be watchful. You need to be watchful. And you need to repent. So please be watchful, saints. Be watchful. It's February 2018. Look, war is just around the corner. War is on the brink. God told me. The time is fulfilled, the time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. It is from scripture, I heard in my head from scripture, the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. It's scripture from Mark, first chapter, verse 15. Please also check book of Daniel. Daniel's book, 14th chapter, because it's written about pagan god Baal. Because the Babylonians, they worshipped Baal. And you cannot worship other gods. There are no other gods. There's only one almighty god, Yahweh. Okay, Yahweh and his son, his son, his holy son, Jesus, Yeshua, the holy son. Spirit, the Holy Trinity, there is no other God apart from it. So if you want to be saved now, please, if you're watching me, if you want to be saved, repent and accept Jesus. Repent. Repent from your sins. Because when war breaks up, Then you'll have no time for repentance. You will have no time for repentance. You're going to die. You're going to be killed by the enemies, by Mets. As I told you before, Mets are the enemies of America. Nations coming against America. North Koreans, Chinese, Russians, and others too. Others too also. It's God's judgment. So please, these are myths. These are myths. It's written in Bible. Hardships are coming. I was also told on February, February 5th, hardships are coming. And I had to check this word because I didn't know the exact meaning, you know. I'm not, I'm not American. I'm Polish, so I had to check the exact meaning of the word hardships. But then I heard it a few times during during the day. So I wasn't confused. And I knew it was from God. Please. Jesus is the only way. Jesus is the only way. Be watchful, praying saints. Time is up. Time is up. Last days of America. Last days of Babylon. Prepare in every way you can. 
spiritually, mentally. Ask Jesus to help you to show you way, to show you ways to prepare. Prepare your food. Stop everything. God told me America will fall. America will fall. And God told me yesterday during my prayer time. Tell them, come to me. Come to me, my children. Come to me. Destruction of Babylon is coming. And God will come and judge this world with righteousness. With righteousness. Please prepare.